Hey, this is Justin from Go Penguin, and today I'm going to show you how to create conditional login, register, and user pages in a header in the Breakdance Builder. So it's pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and go to our header templates in Breakdance. If you don't have one, just create one and apply the header everywhere. Um, once you're there, you're going to edit your main header. And here we're going to add a section to hold everything, and then we're going to add a menu. So basically, we're going to have a register and a login section in the top. You don't have to do a register if you don't want your users to be able to register, but a login if you want to provide their credentials to them. So like, let's say you have a, a private business and you just tell your clients to log in. Um, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to first move this to the right, and then we are going to add. Actually, we don't need this about. So I'm going to call about call it login. Um, we are going to delete this, delete this, and then log in to your website account. In here, we are going to add a login form, but we only want this form to be shown to people that are not logged in. Why would they log in if you know they're not uh, if they're already logged in? So the way we're going to do this is click on the actual drop down item of that. Then we're going to go to settings and go to conditions. So we're only going to want to show this if a user is not logged in. So let's go ahead and add this condition, which will be user logged in status is logged out. Once we apply this, this whole block is going to be invisible to users that are logged in. If they are logged in, we're going to add another one. Let's call this a menu dropped. Actually, let's just do a menu link. So this is going to be called the name of the user that's logged in. So we're going to click on our dynamic data and we're going to scroll down to current user and get username. So now it's going to say the name and we are going to say welcome and then the username. So now this should refresh. Okay, it's not going to show up here, but this is going to say hello, Justin or welcome, Justin, whatever you want it to say. And that's how you're going to know that someone is logged in. And then that is going to go to whatever the sign-in link that you want that to be. So we're also going to go to conditions and we are only going to show this if a user is logged in this time. Save that, save it, and now we're going to navigate to our main page and we should see this in action. So this says welcome Justin. Um, if you click that, it actually goes to breakdance.com. But if we log out of our website, when we're here, now it's going to say log in. And so we log in with our account and boom, once you're logged in, refresh the page and here you go. Um, you could have this say log out. You could also have it redirect to a WooCommerce account page, which on there has a log out. So there's a lot of options that you can do with this. You can also show custom things to people that are logged in if you want to have a members area and it's the same thing where you just go to conditions and you only show these elements if they're logged in. So that's pretty much it. Leave a comment or send me a message if you have any questions.